Hello and welcome to my craft room. It's Rhoda. Today we're working on Roxy's weekly challenge week four and it's flip flop hinged pockets. <laughs> I think I got that right. That's a mouthful. I should have wrote it down. I've looked four times and I still haven't got it right. Well, what I decided to do, and I, you can vary your sizes and stuff, but I chose eight and a quarter and I'm using the whole 12 inch wide because I wanted a really large pocket, uh, enough to decorate. Now what you do is you will take and fold your edge in first for your um, the part that's going to be a tuck. You've got a tuck on one side of your page and then it's gonna wrap around and it's gonna be a big pocket that uh, will hinge out and flop off the page. <laughs> so anyhow, what we do first is this, and this I'm just gauging it to what I've been doing, but it's about one and a half or two inches, actually two inches, and it can come bigger, it can be smaller, it just depends on what you want to do. And then what you do is you pull this part in and tuck it right against that crease that you just created. And you go down like that and whew, I had a little bit of an avalanche there <laughs> I'm still filming the the uh, the old way with my Swiffer broom up here and the curtain rod and I went around to get the the uh, one inch <laughs> hole punch <laughs> and I knocked the whole system down my poor little kitten, she's over asleep, and I just woke her up big time. She said, how shocking. <laughs> All right, so this is what you need to do. That's the only part I need to do that way. And then I have to do my glue line along the top. I mean, the, the bottom and the side, and that's going to make it go shut. Hope everyone's doing well today. Glad you came to visit. Spend a little time. My new subscribers, I hope you see something worth coming back for. My old subscribers. Or my old, old time subscribers. The same. I'm trying to get a couple of videos in here. And... I need to do my remodel in this room. I started it a little bit, but I need to do these two videos and then I can tear it apart. <laughs> I gotta redo my bed, raise it up, move some stuff around. And okay, with this now, what you do is you go in here, you figure out where your middle's at and do your hole punch. And then I just do a hole punch all the way through both layers. I believe this is the way Roxy did it, or Rachel, I guess I should say. And I think it really works. Because I like it because you can put a card in there flush, and then you're able to just put your finger right there and pull it out. You don't have to do a tab or anything. That's the main reason I made mine so tall. Now, this one I'm going I just made to show you because this is the one I'm going to use today to work on uh this uh theme. This is going to be for my teacup and uh tea pitcher uh <laughs> album <laughs> journal. <laughs> I I haven't really got that much to go in it yet, but I thought, well, you know, it can't hurt to start. Now this is an image from scrapbooking with me. And if you want to know how far back to look on her blog for it, just leave me a message below and I'll let you know exactly what date this is found at because I really love it. I've used these teacups for all kinds of things. And I used this for something like a really large journal card. It was perfect for that. And anyhow, this one is going to be for my Americana. And then I have a stack of them over here I've already created that I'm going to show you after I get done with these. I'm still working on cleaning up my stash and getting things used up that I've had around for ages. 
And uh, I do need to cut one of these out, but I think I'll do that in a minute. I've got uh, rub ones here. I've got a Tim Holtz portrait lady. Her, her shoulders were so wide, you couldn't really do much of anything else with her, but she's perfect for here. And she's gonna get framed. <laughs> I'm framing her. <laughs> she's guilty. <laughs> Uh, you know, you can tell it's late at night. I'm getting kind of gaga, you know. <laughs> and I've been trying to use up all the pieces from this one Tim Holtz ephemera pack. And I'm almost there. I had this green. I have no idea what this game is. Is it dominoes? I don't... <laughs> I had another one and I, I put it on one of the other cards I'll show you later. But I need to place these items on here in some way that it decorates everything you know collagey i want to do a collagey look now i don't know if i want that behind her or if i want to have i think i want it with the teacup that's what we'll do so this needs to be behind her and then we're going to have the frame, the frame with her. <laughs> I don't know if this adds to her or not, but we're going with it. I had this big flower here. I didn't know whether to use it with that or not. I might just use that flower. But it's going to be similar to that. And see, she's still, <laughs> her her shoulder pads are still sticking out, so I'm still going to have to trim her down a bit. The little one is not going to be put on here, but that sure frames her pretty face really nice. But I think this needs to go up a little bit. I think I want it dead center. And so we'll go up with that. We'll go up with that. I'll need to figure out. Where's my pencil? figure out what to cut off on her shoulders here. I'm trying to go right along with the underside of the sticker. Now this is a paper studio frame and I've had it for a while. I didn't know what to do with it. There we go. I think that'll help me right there. And what else do we want to put behind her? I have this drawing and painting and it has Alice Min Minor, Teacher of Drawing and Painting. So I thought that might be, I might put that underneath of her so we can move her up some. I thought she looked like an Alice Minor. And maybe she teaches uh, painting when she has her tea parties. <laughs> oh no, I know. Too much, just too much. Okay, so we're gonna have that here. That like that. We'll have her pretty little calling card underneath there. I have a few other items. These are just scraps, pieces here and there. I've got all kinds of stuff. I thought that kind of looked like something you may have drawn. We'll add that somewhere else. I've got a perfume bottle. I got a flower. But I don't want to put something that's going to get covered up. I got this pretty butterfly. I need to trim him down because I'm not a fan of those. Yeah, that might do that. I might have to come down like this. And I have my pretty little butterfly up there. I don't know why I put this postage stamp here except it's got roses on it. All right, because we, we have this to decorate as well. We have this and then the back side and then this and then you even got the you know the teacup or not the teacup but the the huge journal card inside now i've got the word social this is i got this for 50 cents somewhere and i had uh all these like mathematics art <laughs> social studies <laughs> but it's like maybe they're having a social remember the ice cream socials they always talked about i thought that was kind of neat that I could add that in there. All right, let's get rid of these poofs she's got going on here. Where's my little, there's some little scissors. All right. See if that helps. 
these paper dolls are really interesting to use. I've seen certain ones. There's certain ones that everybody uses. Now the thing is, I want to have that right there. So let's take this one off. And we're going to stick her to this. And we'll have an idea of where to go from there. So it's going to be about right here. Right. Yep. She's sticking. Yep. She's sticking. And then I need to put her <laughs> crazy, crazy game board down. <laughs> Whatever that may be. It takes me a while to do these crazy things. I just, you know, it's not that I, I can't decide. It's just I piddle and play with them. And I just have to get them just right. All right, I'm going to put that right there. And then I'm going to rub the word social up here. Is it a rub? No, it's a sticker. <laughs> I thought it was a rub one, but it's actually a sticker. That makes our life more easy. Okay, so I'm gonna put that pretty word right here. I think I might have to trim off the very top edge there, but I'll do that later. We want to trim up on the butterfly just a tad. Don't need to do too much toing. I think I might have to put you on hold. But maybe we don't have to do too much to it. I know I cringe every time I go to watch somebody and they take forever to cut out stuff. And then you got people like uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. She is a whiz at doing all that cut out. Fussy cutting. I can't believe how quick she is. And she's really quick at about everything she does. The gluing. She uses a glue stick and just glues away. Uh, no, I'm not too sure about these antenna. I think he might lose them. Yep, he's going to lose them. Sorry, dude. I am not cutting around those things. There. See? Can't even tell. Seppy's got a, like a whisker there. There we go. So that's going to go up there. With a little bit of glue. So has anybody been into anything interesting lately? You been doing any crafting? Been following anybody that's doing some interesting type of things? You know, you see the same thing out there all the time. And I'm sure this is one of those videos, right? <laughs> you see a lot of people doing Roxy. And, um... I just started doing it because I really, I really enjoy using up all this Tim Holt stuff. I've had these things laying around here for ages. I'm putting a little extra glue on here. I know, I know, it's a sticker, but it can't hurt. It'll help it adhere and stay there better. Okay, let's get all this back here. I do think I wanted to put this thing below here down first because I wanted this over just a little bit. Won't take us a minute. A second. Oops. Okay, good enough. Now let's get in there and get her calling card down as centered as possible. Yes. Now get this. And flip it, and let's get that down. And then this side will be done. Lickety split. Okay, is that the center? That's center enough for me. <laughs> All right. Oops. Yep, I can still see her name. There we go. Now you can get more elaborate. You'll see some of these I really went to town on <laughs> back there. But you can do really simple stuff, too, that it really makes an impact. It just depends. It, it's all 
it's all you know in your eye what what makes you happy what if you feel like you're doing enough by putting a, a couple of items on there and it's what makes you uh, feel good go for it I'm gonna put this stamp here it needs a little something to discombobulate it you know <laughs> there we go and I don't think I've got anything else that's going to go on here. We're done with this little frame. I'll use that for something else. <clears throat> I don't know if I can use it on the other side. I don't have anybody to frame. My tea, no, i got my teacup going on the other side. Now, I do need to do something here on this edge, this corner. She might be drawing nature. <clears throat> then I have this pretty little... Is that? is that a lilac? I think that's a lilac. <laughs> I might set her her bottle on top. <laughs> um, and then I have this that can probably go over here with the, the teacup. More than likely, I'm going for this one. Can you see that one? Sorry. Going for that one. That has yellow and red in this and I think that's what I will do. And I think I'll put that here because that will pull in the roses. All right. Because you got to decorate your flap up a little bit with something. <laughs> All right. And then let me get this down I did I got rid of this whole ephemera pack and I am so happy I, I had them I it's like hoarding you know you say oh well, I'll, I'll use that for something else but then you don't ever do it <laughs> and um, I said I got to start using this stuff up now I will admit I have been using some money lately like i just went to hobby lobby today <laughs> but i was pretty good i got a few piece a few papers everything was mostly the paper studio where everything was on sale so i think i didn't do too bad and i'm trying to get more journals made i have a lady that may sell some in my town here I had thought to get an Etsy store but <laughs> I just don't know I'm still thinking about it so while I'm still thinking about it I'll just keep making journals <laughs> okay so I think that is done boy is that that social pretty is pretty bright all right and my I didn't do any inking on this. I didn't think I needed to. All right, I'm going to stick you on hold for a second. Why? Fussy cut out this thing. I don't think you want to sit around and wait for me to do that. Okay, I'm back with... I've fussy cut this out, and I was going to show you a little thing I did. I made tea earlier, and I had these in the trash can. <laughs> junk you know junk journals <laughs> anyhow so I stuck a little hole in here and I went through to the other side and I put a little piece of washi to hold the string I took my doily and I cut it in half I don't think I'm going to use the other half I'm going to use this for like a doily on a table and I'm going to have to take and cut just a tad off of the edges here these two pieces are just a little bit sticking out too far there I think that might have done it yep close enough and I can trim off on the outside edge and then I'm going to stick this here and then I'm going to put the flower kind of behind but also kind of over it like that and I needed something for up in this corner here it's kind of empty so I decided uh, I found some words and be strong well don't you know I like my tea strong <laughs> And what better to uh, put it on and rip around than a tea bag? <laughs> so we'll do that. 
Um, let me get my piece down here first, and I think I'm going to try to do it with glue stick because I'd be here forever with that little tiny guy. Let's see this, if this one will work. This is one of my last disappearing. Oh, oh, I don't need to get it everywhere, that's for sure. That's the only problem with glue stick and all these little little holes. Let's see what we can do. I'm probably going to have to wait forever for the, <laughs> the purple to go away. But that'll be all right. Okay. I don't know any other way to do this. All right. It's eating up its glue stick, I can tell you that. But I had just found this one. It was an extra. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's get that one as close to the edge as we can. Get it as level as we can. And we're going to take and see if we can blot off some of that with this here. This is definitely one that will go away. I've had these. I had a whole bunch of them. I got them at Michael's. They were clearanced. I've got umpteen of them. And they work really well. And <laughs> that, purple, that purple is everywhere. But I think it's going to do the trick for me and make this a little quicker than it would have been otherwise. See, the purple's already going. And I'm blotting at it to try to get the rest of it out of there and to help get this adhered good there i think that's it and we're gonna have a little bit left over for something else oh. <laughs> all right and let us let's put our or let's trim first there let's put our tea bag on here and let's go about it this way. I definitely don't want to use my glue stick for this because I want this to stick really nice and flat. I also got to get this flower up under here because I thought it added a lot where it's kind of half in and half out. Let's see. If I can't do it before I put it down. Kind of like this. Oh yeah. Now we're going to stick it down. I'll glue that part later. Oh, let me get my... I'm rubbing it all off as I'm doing this. All right. This is another one of those Tim Holtz pieces. I just kind of went through all of my stash. There we go. Okay. Now, let's get this on top of our doily. Like this and kind of help hide those raw edges. There we go. And I'm debating on whether to adhere down the tea bag or not. I might like it to flip around like, you know, an interactive piece. <laughs> I think I will. <laughs> I think I'll leave it like it is. All right. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take our, our word, glue it real quick and get it to our tea bag. And then we're going to rip around the outside edge. So we got a roll look. All right. And then just kind of grab it and give it like a ripped rough. Sometimes you don't want to rip too rough. So you might want to get in there and dig at it a little bit with maybe your tweezers or something. Or just go kind of up and down, up and down. I love tea bags. I love tea bags. They do 
a lot of work. And you gotta see the back. I'm straightening up a few things in here, getting ready for the, you know, the raising of the bed. <laughs> and I had more tea bags than I ever thought I did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what did I do with them? I'm trying to, oh, I have a little container over there. What I usually will do is I sometimes will sew them together and put them into a journal. And it's a really interesting page. I'll do two or three layers. Plus a tea bag. Oh my gosh, do they stamp so well. You really get a great stamp on a tea bag. All right, there. Well, was I going to put this on here? Do I need it? You kind of want to, like... Put some black here. I, I think I will because I'm trying to get, you know, you want to get your colors kind of going around your page. And it's got the roses. It carries that theme. There's no use putting it up there beside the black. It's already there. And it kind of needs something right down here. So we're going to do this. There we go. Now that's done. Now I get to show you the finished product and the other ones that I have done and maybe I'll give you some ideas of what I did I've got <laughs> I've got tea everywhere <laughs> whoops okay so see all the purple's gone <laughs> it disappears doesn't stay oh, I've got a little piece there all right so this is the one side this is the other side now let me grab a journal Oh, where have I got a journal? <laughs> I'm trying. Sorry. I'm trying to find an easy one to get to. <laughs> and I don't have any of those. <laughs> Let me see if I can find a place in here to kind of show you how this is supposed to work. Oh, here's, here's an empty page. Well, sort of. It'll give you the idea. So, what you want to do, let me get it over here where you can see, is you're going to glue it just in here like zip zip and zip and then you go in here like this and you glue it down and then that is a tuck <laughs> you don't want to move it around like I've done but that is a tuck you've got something that'll slide right up underneath of there and then on the other side you've got the pretty you'll have your tag and then you can flip it out and it'll flip out like that from your page. That's a really good idea. I, I love her ideas. She she did say that she got it from someone else, but I mean, I never see any of these other people do them. I'm only ever seeing her do them. <laughs> so here's my here is my other ones that I have done. And of course I'm doing it where I'm preparing them for each one of my journals. Now here is my mermaid one. I've got uh, a stamp here. I've got some die cuts. This was from a kit. I did a stamp here with pink. I've got a big old mermaid tail in here. And all I did was ink around the outside because you can see it from the other side. And that just slides down in there for like a journal card. I thought that was different. This is a Bubbles die cut from Tim Holtz. Now here is the, the flat part. And I took the negatives from here and put them here and on the back. Uh, but I have a, had a little bit of bubbles left over. Uh, this says Starfish Wishes. And then we have two pockets back here. we got I'd Rather Be a Mermaid. And I've got a clam. <laughs> so that's how that one turned out. Here is a small one. This was just a scrap I had. But I wanted to use up my elephant one. And I, I didn't do a tuck for this. This is just a flap to hold it onto the page. And I just said choose happy. I got a little Tim Holtz guy over here. I've got in a gentle way you can shake the world. I figured, you know, elephants the way they walk. And Mahatma Gandhi, he's, he's Indian. There we go for that one. This is probably going to be, I don't know if it's going to be for like my little school book or, or what it's going to be for, but it was just kind of a catch-all. And then I had, these were bunny rabbits and it had Happy Easter, so I covered it with <laughs> Be Happy. <laughs> you know, I could have kept the happy, I guess. 
Now this one, I believe is like for a travel journal I'm doing. And I had this chair uh, on a piece of cardstock and it was a one seater. <laughs> well, I cut that chair in half and both girls are on it now. I just kind of put it apart and they sat right over top and hit it. I thought that worked out perfect. And then there's the flap. Uh, I think this was from, uh, what is that, G Kerr? She had like a digital with all kinds of stuff on it. I've got some stamping. Did stamping here and up there. This side is just, it's kind of simple. I just had a, a, a postcard stamp and special delivery and a few other things. I didn't want to do too much. I liked that paper so much. Here's a, I'm using groups now. <laughs> you see, I've got You Are Wonderful. Um, and I've got these ladies sitting on one of the, those other funny looking things. I don't know what the devil that is. I still have to come in here and do the cards, the journal cards. I have a little rub on here. Um, and then I just had a few things back here. Because like again, I really loved, I love keys. I almost covered up all the keys, didn't I? And I had that bird floating around. He, he needed somewhere to be. This is sort of another travel one. Um, but here's one of those portraits I've got. She went to Paris, France. Um, here is some more of those uh, ephemera pieces. This is from a little digit or a little, it was a four by four uh, paper pad I had. Here's another one of Tim Holtz ladies. That kind of look like her. <laughs> so, probably different generations. This one's for my fairy journal. So I used some of those transparent wings. I thought that looked like a fairy circle. That was on one of those, um, in the one of the ephemera packs. So I have a little mushroom down here and some rub on. And then the, there was a bee on this one and he's going after the flower. And then I just had a little bit of a clodge down here and learning to fly. This one I rent went <laughs> all kinds of things. I've got book page. He's a a bookseller. So he's got book page behind him. He does specimens. He had and this little book has in the beginning and the end. I got one of the clocks in there. Now this other side is sort of it's it's like books and typing. So this little lady looked like um, she may be a typist or she's at the library. And then over here, this lady, she is a typist. She's got all her typewriters. She's got her uh, alphabet, uh, the Smith Premium typewriter. So I thought all that kind of went together. Another rub ones over here. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got to see some different ideas that you might want to be uh, doing, do, please do some of these, um, I can't remember what it's called now, <laughs> flip flop, um, tag pocket or something, flip, whatever, but it's, it, they're great, I loved them, I loved them, I'm still going to do more, I've got a few more journals to do them for, but everybody have a great day, uh, have a